good morning. It is nine something in the morning on Saturday. I am walking FOMO real quick. I have to let him pee. And I was hoping he was going to poop, but that didn't end up happening. Now we're making our way back over to the camp. Eat some breakfast. Uh, maybe read a little bit of Stuffy. Some of the How to Train Your Dragon. We're at a really good part in the series. So much is happening right now. So much. There's like 12 books and we're on book 11. And the last two books are the, large, are the largest. But they are also the longest. And everything happens in those two books within the course of 96 hours. So things are getting real, real quick. But out here, it is so much more green than it was the last time we were here. We had a good storm come through last night, mostly rain. Uh, I didn't notice any um, thunder and lightning and stuff like that. But before it started doing that, the owls got real quiet and whatever was close to camp and rustling around got real quiet. Granite laid down and got some sleep, hopefully. But, uh, looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Kind of mixed clouds, sprinkles every once in a while. Looks like Stuffy's made it back to camp as well. But we're down here at Thompson Creek down by this crazy boulder. Little engine that could really likes this spot. Stuffy the Adventure Kid really likes this spot. I like this spot. It's a good spot to be. Oh. Yeah, it's leaking out. I saw the right thing. Cool. Well, we're at camp. Time to feed the kid. Well, feed the dog. The kid's feeding herself. She's big like that. Just a girl and her dog. <laughs> got some. You got some water, Mr. Man? I didn't find any dead snails this morning. <laughs> you must have eaten them. <laughs> I don't know where that ant's going, but it's freezing. And that millipede's like, I mean, that centipede's like, uh, it looks like it bent its an antenna. That ant sure is trying its best. Trying to cross. Oh yeah. Find a snail or a caddis fly? Yeah. Yeah, why do you think that is? Uh you think there might be anybody in it? Oh. Uh, sometimes there. You remember that caddisfly larval 
stage that you found? It was all in the little bits of rock and stuff? Yeah. Some of them will do it with little bits of plants, too. Oh. It just depends on the species. Crossing the treacherous river. Oh, oh, just barely made it. Barely made. <laughs> now for treacherous junior. Can she cross it? Oh, oh my gosh. The crowd goes wild. Oh, look at the river. Look at these rapids. What'd you find? Eggshell. An eggshell from what? I don't know. Is it hard or soft? So that rules out reptile and amphibian. What else lays eggs that live out here? Birds. Bam. Some type of bird eggshell. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Or someone just say an egg out here. Which me which is likely from a chicken. Which is a bird. Bird is the word. Bird bird bird. Bird is the word. <laughs> yeah, with all the trees falling. They make it suitable so we can climb over here. Mm -hmm. Come see. All right. So cool how they can take their eyes in and out. Yeah. Right now they're in because it's scared. You scared it. But it hasn't retreated completely into the shell yet. Nope. I feel like it's getting a little more brave. He's eating my dead skin. He's doing something. Little, uh. You can feel it. Yeah. Kind of hurts a little bit. Checking out the boulders. Yeah? How do you think they got there? I have no idea. None? Stay as close as you can to the rock. You're almost at a handhold. There you go, good foot placement, good. <sighs> yep, you got it. Nope, don't give up your foot. You gave up your foot spot. What? You gave up the climbing. Climbing strength comes from your legs. With, uh, if you're using just your arms, you're gonna get exhausted really quickly. There you go. So you got that hand hold. There you go. Hold on to that. And grab another one. Yep. You got it. Poor little FOMO. He's like, I could climb up it, guys. I could do it. I'm rough. I'm tough. Climbed up here. The very top of this thing. Very top. Trash. It's like from somebody's water bottle. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. You made it. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, we climbed up to the top. We're on the boulder. <laughs> Thank you.
And it's soft too. Too bad it's really moist and it'll make your butt cold. Well, that's why it's soft. It's alive because it's moist. Some of the moss. Maybe twice the size of his body. Better for jumping with. <laughs> A leopard frog is like, ah, I got away. Oh no, she's back. She's back. And now, I'm, now I'm being touched. <laughs> cool. His legs been like the opposite way that humans do. Mm -hmm. Humans legs do. Yep. His legs been the opposite way. This leg bends that way. This leg bends that way. <laughs> it's okay, Frocky. This is right now I'm trying not to die. <laughs> I'm out of here. Forget you fools. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. See you later. Ha -ha. Freedom. Freedom. The frog took, he's like, I will sail down these rapids before I let these humans eat me. I see her licking her chops. She's still hungry. Oh, a fat fly can fly? A, a, a stone fly, yeah. When it becomes an adult, it comes out. Is he, is, I wonder if he's still fast. Yeah, he's still a horrible stage. Is he gills? Nice. I remember one time I saw one of these and I thought I found a new species. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I'll call this species Plantana. This? Yeah, that's an adult. Oh. I think. That's an adult stone fly. That or mayfly. Did it die? No. Oh. It's, it's just it got, it's, it's just got its wings. It's just emerging from the water. Oh. Hi little guy. Oh look, there's a there's its kid or something. Could be an offspring. It could be brother and I think that could be getting ready to shed and then come out. You wanna go? Leave your, oh, it's on your toe now. Come on, go fly <laughs> off. Give it a second, let it dry off its wings. It just came out of the water. Oh, and there's another salamander and a crayfish right there. Oh, and there's another salamander over there. Told you this place was hopping. I did. I saw them. Those ripples are coming from the water strider. Too wide. Going under that rock. I'm like, get away, humans. These live in streams. This is a stream salamander. I want to catch that thing so bad. Let's see here. Oh, I'm almost got it. Slipped between my palms. It's 
foot between my paws. Where'd he go? There he is right here. Did you salamanders here? Um, not like you and I do, I don't believe. I feel like they feel vibrations. It's even a trick of the light. Hmm. Tad's so big, bigger than his net. Oh, there's a salamander. Mm -hmm. There. Where's Tad? Really? Oh, there's Tad. The snail is huge. Kid just climbed all the way up there by herself. Awesome. Look at that thumbs up. She's like, oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, I think there's something in my eye. Oh, something got in her eye. <laughs> Grand says, what are you doing up there? How'd you do that? Why didn't you take me? Sitting by the thinking tree.
you're doing great. So I'm about to walk across this log again. Stuff you went to go get the frisbee. Isn't it pretty? So cool, all right? What's up, Stuffy? Got the frisbee. Awesome. Nicknamed Frizz. Let's not get it in the poison ivy today. I'll try not. Looks like somebody cut on this tree recently. Maybe that was a frisbee. No, this is this is from a, a sharp cutting tool. See where they cut in and shave down. Not cool, people. Not cool. That wasn't there last night. Yeah, it was. We just didn't notice it because it was dark. Ready? Well, you know it wasn't me because I didn't bring a bring my knife. Hmm. It definitely wasn't me. Somebody else did it. Hooray for the floating, waterproof frisbee. All cleaned up like we were never here. Except the toilet paper that someone else left there. Yeah, I'm not cleaning up to somebody else's toilet paper. People need to take care of their stuff. Leave no trace. Making our way out of here. FOMO's ready. Look, um, Stuffy's dead ready. Dead beetles ready. Rolling See out. You know, Emily was just saying bye to her, her bestie for the resty. There was this uh, beetle that kept joining her. I think slipped into her hand, or sleeping bag with her last night. And uh, she didn't like it. And later, earlier today, we found it eating somebody's old toilet paper. <laughs> I found it when I was filtering, and then it literally crawled into my hair, and then mm, got mm -hmm. into my sleeping bag. Wanted to be your bestie for the resty. No, well, we didn't do it on purpose, but we are uh, both it. wearing blue. You ready? Yes. Let's do it to it. <laughs> 